Hello again and welcome, listeners, to Shallow Thoughts and Deep Shit. My name is Jefferson Lambert, and I'll be your host for this atrocity as I journey through the mind of a serial misanthrope. You can listen to this podcast for free at Spotify, Apple iTunes, iHeart Music, Amazon Music, Google Podcasts, CastBox, Radio Public, and Spotify for Podcasters. If you like what you hear, please rate the show, subscribe, and follow. You can also follow the show on Instagram, X, Facebook, and YouTube, where you can join for extra content, new episode notifications, and more. And don't forget, you can interact with each episode and post a comment or ask a question if you so desire. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get started, shall we? Nicknames. Like many people, I have accumulated a collection of nicknames over the years. The first nickname I ever had was given to me by my neighbor in my old house in Hopewell Junction, which seems like a lifetime ago. Michael Gianello used to call me Jafifi. I sometimes still use it on various websites when I have to think up a username when registering. Jafifi. Thank you, Michael. Back in my old neighborhood in the town of Poughkeepsie, they used to call me Bones. I was as thin as a rail, and Bones was a pretty fitting nickname for that era. Honestly, nobody can call me Bones anymore. The days of wearing small t-shirts and size 26 pants are long gone. My father once told me, someday you're going to stop growing up and start growing out. He was right. Other nicknames I acquired throughout the years... Are Jeffrey Giraffe, Lamb Toast, Lamb Buzz, Jeffy Pooh, Dahmer, and Hefe. Those names came from friends and co-workers, Mike Brooks, Steve Busey, Eric Anderson, Al Sizemore, and Mike Wall. Thanks, guys. There's one nickname, though, that stuck with me since I was a teenager. Chops. Some people to this day still call me that. Chops came from a friend of mine, Damien, who used to live on Market Street in the village of Wappingers Falls. I was hanging out with a bunch of people on the street one day, and Damien leaves his hairdresser shop and comes over to tell me he's ready for my haircut. I'm ready now, Lamb Chops, he says in front of everyone. Everyone just about died laughing on the street that day. I get it. Ha ha, Lambert, Lamb Chops. Ha ha ha. Another friend, Gordon Barger, heard this and shortened it to Chops, and that name stuck with me for years afterwards. It was the birth of a lifelong nickname. A lot of people to this day never knew my name is Jefferson. All my life, I've just been plain old Jeff. I wasn't a fan of the name Jefferson when I was growing up, and I was a little embarrassed by it for some reason. I thought it sounded too pompous, a little too sophisticated. I didn't really embrace the name and always just used Jeff. The name Jefferson is an old English name meaning the son of Jeffrey. (laughs) My father's name was Ed. I really hate it when people somehow read my name and call me Jeffrey and I correct them immediately. If I'm waiting somewhere like a doctor's office and a nurse comes in and calls for Jeffrey Lambert, I ask them, where do you see the name Jeffrey? Why do some people automatically assume my name is Jeffrey? I've never written Jeffrey on anything at all in my life, and it's annoying when people call me that. It's either Jeff or Jefferson. Pretty simple. Back in the olden times, I used to write under the pseudonym J.C. Lambert because I didn't want to use Jefferson, or Jeff for that matter. As I got older, I started using Jefferson for everything because that's my official name, and I'm no longer embarrassed by it. My father named me, and it's kind of a unique name because I'm 54 years old and never once met another Jefferson my entire life. Not once. For whatever reason, some people associate my name with famous people, like George Jefferson, Jefferson Davis, Thomas Jefferson, and the funniest of them all, Jefferson Darcy from Married with Children, played by Ted McGinley. I started a new job last year, and since my full official name is on all the paperwork, everyone there calls me Jefferson. And I'm still getting used to that, and I'm okay with it now. 
Some people do call me Jeff, and that's okay too. Just don't call me Jeffrey. <laughs>